Good morning, everybody. This is Evan HTX Realtor. Uh, today, I wanted to do a quick little video talking about down payments. So before we get into it, you already know, if you are looking to buy or sell real estate in the Houston area, please be sure to contact me using the information below, in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions or just curious about anything, please hit me up. I would love to help you. Uh, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about down payments. And so you know, this is the thing that everybody knows. It's like the most common thing. Uh, if you see my Spanish video, which is here, uh, you have seen the video and I say that, you know, the majority of the people know about down payment. Down payment, you know, you hear it in cars and you buy a car, you gotta put down payment. Uh, so people understand that concept. That's about where the similarities change of buying a car. There are other uh, fees and different things that you're gonna have to pay besides the down payment but today specifically wanted to highlight down payments the different percentages and how much you would need to put down depending on the type of or the price of the house that you would like to buy so um like i said it depends a lot of this is going to depend on your income your credit uh your payment history and just overall financial history uh the the lenders will look at a whole at you and your spouse, if it's gonna be two of y'all or just one of y'all, uh, it's gonna look at it as a whole um, to see what it is that y'all can uh, afford and what your down payment is gonna be. It's gonna be based on some of these things. Also too, I wanna mention uh, that your down payment can change depending on nationalization status. The reason I say it's going to change is because uh, you may not qualify for some of these other programs that would be uh, available for people who are uh, citizens uh, you would have to go to a different program and that program doesn't offer some of these other benefits of these other uh, down, lower down payments so if it's a usda loan for rural areas if you want to know what rural means it basically and it's not necessarily all farmland you know what i mean rules basically there's a map that the usda has that you can look on the website which i'll put in the link below uh, so that you can check it out uh, basically they have determined what a rural area is all around the nation and so if it fits in that area then what you can do is basically you potentially can buy a property for zero percent down if you qualify and there's other little things that you have to do to qualify so that's one thing if you're a veteran you can take advantage of the VA loan, which also allows you to put 0% down. So that could be something good for you if you're looking to be a veteran and maybe you wanna start investing too as a veteran because you imagine then you can get something like a duplex at 0% down, kind of rent the other side out, you know, and eventually refinance out of it, do it all over again. <clears throat> Next one, FHA. So uh, this one is actually backed by the Federal Housing Administration. Uh, so what it basically is, is it allows you to put three and a half percent down. So that's the one that a lot of people know and have heard about. Um, there are certain requirements that the house has to go, has to meet in order for you to, uh, to get the FHA. And also you as a person, uh, there's going to be some things like, uh, you can, have own, you can actually get FHA more than once. That's going to be in a whole other video. Conventional loans. Uh, so basically you can get a conventional loan too and that can be from you know five to twenty percent and that's like your your more traditional loans you know i mean conventional loan is like the loan that a lot of people know about uh, or i mean is like the normal loan it's not a program it's just the basic most vanilla loan that you can get most traditional loan is that conventional loan that's if you think conventional think vanilla or uh whatever would be the most traditional of anything coke or the next one is going to be bank offered programs and so i've actually uh, seen this one uh, if you are self-employed that's another thing that they're going to look at if you're self-employed uh, you may it may be kind of hard to show what kind of income you're making and so you may not be able to qualify for some of these other ones due to not being able to show the income though you're making it and i understand that on paper it may be difficult to show and so sometimes you would have to go to bank offered program. So basically it would be dependent on like a regional bank or whoever would offer a program and then that's how you would get it. So that's basically it. Like I said, I kind of want to do a quick little video talking about down payments and the different percentages. Like I said, it's really going to depend on your credit, your income. Uh, they're going to look at your entire financial uh, profile, if you would, as you, yourself, and if you go with your spouse, they're going to look at them. You're going to have a co-signer, they're going to look at them. So as a whole, they're kind of look at y'all and see uh, what y'all 
uh, can potentially qualify, which of these programs are going to qualify. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me, Evan HTX Realty. You can hit me at any one of these right here, your favorite social medias. You can DM me, message me, tweet me, whatever you want to do, uh, and I would love to help you uh, buy or sell real estate in the Houston area. You already know the drill. Uh, like I said, we got other videos coming out that are going over because like i said down payment is just just one of them there's earnest money there's the termination fee or the option period uh there's going to be other little fees inspectors we're going to talk about those and kind of walk you through the program of how and what you would need to pay uh one final thing is that these are not all the programs that are offered uh, there are plenty more programs that i didn't mention here i just wanted to mention a few of them so there are other programs available to you depending on your area depending on you know uh, who you are all kinds of different things there's different programs this is just a few of them uh, we would have to talk with you and uh, kind of get you in contact with uh, our lending contacts to kind of determine what would be the best fit for you but there are other options besides these it's just a few that i wanted to mention Evan HGX Realtor, be safe, drive safe, and drink water, people. I will catch y'all in the next one.